Welcome back to another video guys. I am Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio and I talk all about branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship here. So if you are starting a creative business of your own, then be sure to subscribe to follow along. First off, I just wanted to mention that I am feeling a little bit under the weather today. So please excuse my nasally voice throughout this video. But in today's video, I am talking all about creating and designing an ebook on Canva. Now, ebooks like this can be used for multiple reasons. It can be used for as a freebie on your website if you want people to, you know, join your email list or follow you some sort. Maybe you can provide an ebook as um, a freebie of some sort. Um, you can also actually sell it as an ebook, as a digital product, and you can actually use these ebooks as an accompaniment to your course as well. So, multiple ways of using these digital ebooks. Um, so, I wanted to get into the tutorial as soon as I can. So, let's head into my laptop and get right to it. Welcome to my laptop. So, I am logged into my Canva account right now. I am using the pro version, but you can totally do this full tutorial on the free version as well. So, first things first, when you are starting your ebook design, I highly, highly recommend starting out with a template. It's just gonna make your design a lot faster, and all you have to do is take the template and then adjust it to what your needs are, your brand, as well as the content that you're trying to create. So, I would first go into the left hand panel here and go to templates, and then I'm going to actually type in ebook. And see what they have so there are a ton of beautiful looking templates here this one is really beautiful so definitely look through the contents and decide what kind of content you're trying to give so for example this template looks like one is just text and images so if you don't need any grids or any kind of more visual content then just having text and images might be um, like this template might be a good option for you. So really just look into <clears throat> look into each template and just make sure that it has the type of content. For example, this one is more of a workbook style. So it has places where you have bullet forms and people can write into those sections. So and this one has check uh, checkbox areas. So definitely scan through it and see what best fits your needs. For the template for today, I'm actually gonna be using one that I have created. So if you wanna head to my shop, it is madeonsundays.com forward slash shop. Um, and then I have actually a ton of templates that I've created um, for ebooks and workbooks. And this is one of my newest templates. It's called Neutral Ebook design template and if, as you scroll through it there are 20 pages in total it includes chapters and content pages and lots of things so um, I am gonna use this today so once you purchase the template you're gonna get this right here and all you do is use template the reason why using more custom templates like this is because the ones on Canva especially the free ones um, millions of people already have access to those templates so your workbook is not going to be as customized just because millions of other people also have access to the same workbook so that's my only kind of tidbit there um, it starts off with some instructions which I'm actually gonna delete right now um, and then I'm going to get into the templates so First things first, when you have your template, you really want to start um, building out the content pages. So really think about what kind of content, um, you know, the title, the different pages uh, and layouts you're going to need. So let's give an example. Let's just say um, for my workbook or my ebook, I'm going to be talking about um, a guide to slow living. So I'm going to call that a guide to slow living. So I definitely need a title page of some sort. This template actually comes with three versions, uh, different versions of covers. There's this one, this one, and this one. Oh, this actually 
is really beautiful, which one should we go with? I'm definitely not gonna go with this one. It's either this one or this one. So I think I like this one more. It's more eye-catching, so I'm gonna delete this one. Um, let's go with a bigger text. <clears throat> That looks really beautiful and i'm going to change out the uh the subtitle here to um perfect and then i'm going to change up the background image here so let's go with let's look up some photos eh? uh maybe go to photos and then i'm going to scroll through oh i really like this photo here it's definitely um a pro image so definitely scroll through if you don't have pro account then you can only use the free images and if you want to um, filter out just free images just go ahead and click on this right here and then go down to free and then now you have only um, free images so let's see what kind of free images uh, work for this seems to be all like home images um actually this one's really nice oh i like this one okay yeah that is gorgeous perfect um that looks really nice so i'm going to type in my website here and make sure to link that to my actual website so yep there we go um i'm actually gonna make this a little bit bigger as well okay that looks so beautiful okay so next up is figuring out which content layouts you actually need so in this template there are two types of table of contents i personally like the one with an image on it so i'm gonna delete this one um and then let's think let's start planning out the rest of the pages that i need so um i definitely want there's like different section um headers here I like this one more so I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to plan out all the different sections that I have so I have um, my first section there's three sections to this ebook that I'm creating so the first section is uh, about me about slow living so kind of like a general page right there and I'm gonna duplicate this and then I'm gonna have a second section that is about um, <clears throat> 10 steps to slow kind of get into the meat of it and I'm gonna duplicate this and then my third section um, this is a little big my third section is going to be more of a call to action page. So like kind of a thank you section, but I'm going to name it um, additional resources. And then I'm gonna type in these subtitles later on, but let's go into the meat of it. So I think this content, this page right here, you know what will help actually going into a bigger view? like this so i can kind of look through things and just kind of jiggle things around so the first section is definitely more like an about section so this will be perfect for that first section there and then maybe i'm going to put in this second section you know what instead of 10 steps i'm gonna do three steps just because i feel like it'll make this uh, ebook a little bit more digestible I'm going to change this to three steps. Um, and then this actually works really well. Which one do we like more, this one or this one? I think I like this one more. So I'm going to move this into there. And then I'm going to have probably some more information, kind of like the meat of the ebook will be right there. I really like that one. And I actually really like maybe this this one right here and then we're gonna end off um, with some additional resources so I definitely want this one right here and that will be like the last page for sure um, but I think for the additional resources maybe I will use I think this one right there 
and then have it end there. And then so I can delete these ones actually. Perfect. So this is going to be the general layout of my ebook. So now I'm going to go into each of them and kind of start updating the different sections. So I'm not going to go into detail with this because obviously your ebook is going to be so different. So um, let's just pretend that I've like pretty much filled in all of my copy. The next thing I would do is probably uh, update all of the imagery. So again, I would go into elements and look up photos that make sense for those sections. So for example, this section is about a little bit more about slow living. Um, and then I'm gonna find an image that fits for this section and all I do is just drag those photos into the section and it will change up those photos really quickly. I really love these arch images right here. So um, another place to find beautiful imagery if you can't seem to uh, go about with canvas, I would go into a website called Pexel, so P-E-X-E-L-S dot com. And this is where I actually source all of the imagery that are that is already in this ebook. So definitely scroll through. There are such beautiful images here and all you have to do is click on download, save it to your files and then um, let's do that right now actually. Why don't I, um, I like this one right here so I'm gonna download it and then I'm going to uh, go into my ebook and then I'm gonna go to uploads and basically drag that into my uploads. And then all I have to do is now drag that photo into the different placement holders and there we go we have our own images now updated so again all you have to do is really go into these different sections and uh, update it to your content um, any kind of buttons right here you want to make sure that you are linking out to the right places so all you have to do is go to clicking on the button and on the uh, text itself and clicking on link right here and then adding the links to wherever you're wanting people to head to but just remember that you are also updating the text here as well as the button so do both just in case they click on right here or right here both places will go to the link that you want them to any links like this can also be linked as well so make sure to update those and um, type in the URL that you want them to head to. For images like this, I actually also recommend linking them as well. A lot of people will um, naturally just click on the image as opposed to the, the button. So definitely if you have stuff, um, kind of mock-ups like this to link these as well. So if people do naturally end up clicking on the mock-ups instead, they will also be led to the URL. Perfect. So next thing is to make sure to update all of the fonts and colors to customize it to your brand. So um, I don't know if you've worked with a brand designer in the past or if you have your own branding. It is so important to make sure that you're customizing this to your branding. So for me, I actually have uh, my brand kits here. Um, I can easily click on um, the different brand colors that I have and also my brand fonts to make sure that they are, um, you know, using my brand fonts. So for my brand fonts, I have Orpheus Pro. And then for this one right here, we have um, Comorant Garamond. So make sure that you are updating all of them to your brand fonts and it'll look a lot better. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of that um, for all of the pages. And then next thing are all of your colors. So for my brand colors right here, I have this color instead. So I'm gonna go through each of these pages to make sure that I am changing out the colors to what I typically use for my branding. All right, so I think you get the point. Basically just go through the whole um, exercise of customizing all of your pages into your different brand. Um, 
your brand colors and your brand fonts and then also obviously updating all of the text um, and the content, uh, the images as well as all of the text to whatever ebook needs to be. And then all you have to do now is go to share here and click on download and you always want to download it as a PDF standard if it's going to be primarily a digital document. So if you're going to be sending this to your customer digitally and it's meant for them to read it digitally like on their computer, then definitely export it as PDF standard because this will keep the file size small and still crisp by reading it digitally. If it's meant for print, then I definitely recommend exporting it as PDF print and that will make the file size a lot bigger, making sure that if people do actually end up printing your ebook, then it will still show up really beautifully and high res. So for my document, it is definitely a digital document, so I'm going to export it as PDF standard making sure that all of the pages are selected here and then I'm going to click on download. All right, let's open up the PDF and see how it looks. All right, so I'm going to scroll through it. It's looking really, really, really good. And that is how you create an ebook from a template. All right, and that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and learned something new on Canva. Hey, if you wanted to get that ebook template that is from my shop, then be sure to head to the description below where I have linked where to purchase that template. Um, I am so excited to see all of your creations. Be sure to let me know in the comments below if you have any questions at all. Remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if it was helpful at all, and I I am excited to see you in the next video. Bye!